up, everybody? Yep. So I did pick up the car yesterday. I do have it. Right over here. Yep. Please don't, don't look at my mess over there. I know I have a messy ass garage. I don't know what to tell you. Race car shit, I guess. Uh, you guys do ask how much horsepower does the car make? 260 horsepower. Let me explain. So when I bought the car, I didn't know too much information on it. The guy I bought it off to, he bought it off somebody else and he had minimal information on it. So I didn't know anything that was done to the car. I didn't know what type of um, injectors it had. I didn't know what type of coil packs it had. I kind of just went in a blind and I said, yo, I need to get a tune because he told me it needs a tune to run. So I kind of just scheduled the appointment and just hope for the best. Um, but let me show you something. Why my car is not making the power it needs to. So these ignition coils look like they are ebay coils so um from what i've been told jay-z's they only like oem coils so um right now what the car is doing is it's not going over 5k rpm and what they said it can either be my ignition coils that are limiting it because they're not getting they're not throwing out the amount of spark it needs to to ignite all the um cylinders or as well it also has ebay fuel injectors um, so that doesn't help the situation at all, or it can be my igniter going out, or possibly it can be my crank sensor that is somewhere down there. Yeah, there's a couple things that I didn't know what was wrong with the car. Obviously, once you buy a project, you have to go through it, um, and you, you know, get to learn the car needs this and that and that. But they did tell me that once I get all those things situated, um, once I'm able to, you know, go over the 5k rpm that we're going to go ahead and get a retune uh, once retuning he said that i should be good to be making about 500 550 horsepower which is usually where i want to be i mean it's just going to be a street car nothing crazy um just you know something i can have fun with that's about it on the previous video i did let you guys know i did buy you know a couple of parts um so i can't drive the car at night because the combination switch that i had for the car uh, I don't know why or how, but they went ahead and they broke off where you can, oh my God, where you can turn on the lights over here. So it only has the one for the, the wipers. I did get this one with the car, but it is for a different year. So these don't work for my car. So I can't drive the car at night. So I went ahead and took everything apart. I'm just gonna leave it like that until I can go ahead and find the correct one. Now on to the shifter. Don't cheap out. So I'm having issues with uh, the bushing. Uh, it's not really fitting correctly. I know the bushing is something cheap. I can always go ahead and get another bushing. So I'm gonna try the getting a maybe an OEM bushing, seeing if that fits um, a little better so I can go ahead and run it. Um, but again, since I can't drive the car right now, I'm not stressing it too much. So what the car is doing is just going to reach up to 5,000 RPM and then just wah, bah, 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 like if it's two step, but it is definitely not two step. I will have two step though, I think, but this is not a good two step. You know, we won't have the proper two step. So for now, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to order the things I need to order, wait until they come in. We'll go ahead. We'll throw those in there. And hopefully it's gonna go over the 5k RPM that it needs to, and I can make big power. Yee. Well, uh, that's all I have for you guys today. Just giving you guys a nice little update on the car. Um, so yeah, keep you updated on that. If you like the content, please go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. Have a good day, guys.